Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China. Game tonight has been postponed. You are all safe. And take your time in leaving the arena tonight and do so in an orderly fashion. Thank you for coming out tonight. No longer be playing due to the coronavirus concern. You could hear the audible gasps there. The most recent example of how it is impacting almost every facet of America's way of life. Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz tested positive for the coronavirus. The league will use this hiatus to determine the next steps in dealing with the pandemic. All school buildings will be closed for the remainder of this school year. Executive order closing all school buildings unless restrictions are lifted. This is having a huge impact. Boom! I had to, I had to. Y'all was off guard or whatever. What's up, YouTube? And today we will be talking about conspiracy theories. I'm pretty sure y'all all heard by now COVID-19 one of the biggest pandemics in like human history. It started back in February. They were canceling like NBA games, canceled school, concerts. It was like all types of like chaos. And then they made us go into quarantine for like, I'm losing count now, bruh. This is way too long, bro. but we've been in quarantine for like a hot minute. Something world leaders and health officials are encouraging, if not demanding, us to do. Now, let's get into the theory. Now, as crazy as this theory sounds, bruh, I mean, I'm going to just explain it to y'all. So the theory is, is that 5G is the cause for... COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. The mistaken belief 5G technology is tied to the COVID-19 outbreak. Well, a handful of people is spreading the idea on social media that the rollout of 5G cell towers is responsible for the COVID-19 epidemic. And a quick rundown for you guys that don't know what 5G is, it's like 4G, but it's just faster. That's really a bad way to explain it, but it's just like faster internet in like a sense. This is a disadvantage because whenever they replace like the 4G towers, bro, with the 5G ones, they have to build more 5G ones because you can get out of range faster, which means you could lose connection and you can't get on the internet and do whatever you need to do. Also, 5G operates at a more higher frequency, which can also cause some other problems, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just, re I'm just giving y'all the information. Another thing is UK networks began switching to 5G in 2019, but they did it in lightly populated areas. The British government is going to allow Chinese tech giant Huawei to have a limited role in building the UK's 5G cellular network. There are some caveats. Huawei will be banned from core parts of the infrastructure and from operating at sensitive sites. Because like they were scared of like, hey, we don't really know what this is capable of. Like we should just test it out and see what it does, which is really interesting to me because it's like, if it's not dangerous, why would you have to test it in one like lightly populated areas? You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of weird. If it's not dangerous, why would you have to test it in one like lightly populated areas? You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of weird. Another thing is there's also rumors going around that 5G kills like bees. First off, bro, if your, if your internet connection fast, but it kills bees, bro, I probably don't want it, bro. We got this cell tower. They were putting 5G panels and I had some people question me in the comments say, oh, it's not 5G. Well, I just got an email confirmation. Can anybody explain to me that light bulb has been up there for years. It was up there and it didn't have any impact on the bees at the beginning. However, it was correlated right after they put up those panels is when I started having the bees going and fly. I guess they're flying around that light at night, flying around, burning up their energy and dying. 4G didn't kill bees, bro. So what's up with this? Y'all, bro, y'all gotta go back, bro. There's 300 to 400 5G tower deployments in New York, which is also crazy because New York has like the most like cases for like COVID-19. Joining us now by phone, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. Thanks so much for joining us, Senator. My pleasure. New York State now has the most cases of coronavirus in the U.S. Also where the coronavirus started, China. And there's 350,000 5G towers in China, bro. That, bro, so what else do I, bro, I can just end the video, bro. Okay, but I'm not.
Okay, another interesting little like thing I found was there's this movie called Contagion. It came out like eight to nine years ago. Basically in this movie, it's basically like everything that's going on now, like every single thing, like people going in the grocery stores with the mask and the virus spreading throughout the world. It's basically like everything like that. And it's so crazy because in the movie, this virus came from animals in real life. This virus came from like a bat. It also started in a foreign country and ended up coming to like the United States. In this movie, they were also trying to cure it with like unofficial like medicine and stuff, which low key they've been trying to do in real life. So y'all probably thinking like, why would the government like want to do this? Hypothetically speaking, like why would they want to do this? If 5G out here popping bees, making my body explode, why would they like, why does the government want this? So there's been a lot of countries trying to build 5G, but you know, United States, in China have been like the top two. And with 5G, doctors can perform like surgeries miles away, bro. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they already did this. I think it was like a brain surgery. They did it in China. Also, there can be self-driving cars, virtual worlds that let you like talk to people like in real time, new weapons, it's all sorts of like crazy things that come with it, bro. But the most important thing of all to at least to like the countries and stuff, bro, is just power and money, bro. If United States make it first, then they'll make more money. If China makes it first, then they'll make more money. Also, it's another crazy thing that got like a lot of like heat after Bill Gates said something. Gates was talking about the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and how they're tackling COVID-19. Now, one of his answers was about people safely returning to work. He wrote that a system of, quote, digital certificates could be used to show if you've already been tested or eventually vaccinated. And that answer went viral. Articles claimed he admitted to wanting to microchip people here, which led to viral videos with millions of views. And last week, former Trump advisor Roger Stone even repeated the theory in an interview. And basically with like the microchip, they could be like, oh, um, put this in your body and then we'll know your health at all times. We'll you know, if you get sick, it'll let you know, you go to the doctor. So like none of this can happen again. This really isn't even a conspiracy theory. This is like something that's already like being done. Melissa Timmons was skeptical, but is now chipped. Yeah, right now it's only to buy a candy bar and get in our building, but there's a lot more that's gonna be be coming with it. At the same time, you're probably thinking like, Jawan, bro, I would never, like, bro, I would never put some freaking thing on my body, bro. Like, come on now. That's fair, but it's the government, bro. They are gonna try to like make it sound like cool. Like, okay, think of it this way, bro. The government isn't gonna be like, okay, let's put like a machine in their house so we can hear everything they say. So what do they do? They, they make freaking Alexa, bro. They make freaking Alexa, bro. I'm done with this video, bro. I'm done.